Yeah. We got a damn good show for y'all tonight. A damn good show. A damn good show. College grads might drop. Viral after getting into a scuffle with a white educator. This one just looked funny. You guys enjoy when we do Hodge Twin reactions, and frankly, we enjoy reacting to the Hodge Twins, so it's a mutual beneficial thing. Yes. <laughs> Keith and Kevin are going to talk about someone mic dropping after getting into it with. When you say the word white educator, I instantly think liberal. It's just, yeah. It's like a reflex at this point. Because usually when you hear those words, it's always somebody that wants to... I know I'm a math teacher, but I need to talk about my sexuality. Yeah. There's just an intense need for me to go, Guys, let me tell you about my personal life. <laughs> right. And 8 plus 3 is 11. So anyway. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> Let's see what Keith and Kevin have to say about this one. Let's do this. For y'all, got a damn good show. All right, we're gonna talk about this viral video on TikTok going viral, viral, viral. You know why? Because it's race related. Yeah, people like to see the races fighting the commotion. Yep, yeah, people like to see black people acting a fool. It just goes viral. Something about that systemically racist algorithm. <laughs> yeah, so uh, there's a, I think I was joking. No, no, I'm joking. I don't think. There's such thing as systemic racism. I think there's systemic stupidity in this country. <laughs> Amen. Right. Yeah. I think it's systemic anxiety. I used to be like that, man. Growing up, I mean, look at them white people looking at me. Look at them white girls keep staring at me like they've never seen a black man. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I used to have an anxiety. Looking back on it, them girls want to suck me off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kev, come on, man. And then the white women, their mothers and fathers just like, I gotta keep Becky away from him. <laughs> I know he wants to get sucked off. <laughs> I'm just saying, I had anxiety. And a lot of people who, who, like, we have anxiety. Well, the world was a lot different when we was teenagers, Kevin. Yeah, it was different, but... I mean, because we grew up in the South. We all them white girls wanted to get down. We experienced a lot of racism. I know we did. I didn't say we did. But all them white girls wanted some of this. And I thought they was racist. Because they was looking at me. Because I've been fed all this bull crap. You know what I'm saying? They was looking at us because we was twins. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> anyway, anyway. This black girl, she graduated, uh, I guess it was college. What, you think it's high school? <laughs> you think she graduated junior high? <laughs> college, more likely, right? University college. And uh, for high education. Yeah. So she gets into an altercation with a white woman. She takes the mic from her yeah. because supposedly the day before they treated her unfairly when it was they were walking to get their diplomas or something. But here, here's the video of her having an altercation with a nice old white lady. Okay, go. Let's go. Let's go. You didn't let me get my moment, so I want to say my name is Kanijata Diallo, and I'm graduating today. Oh, I like you snatched the mic out of my head, so today is going to be all about me. Oh, drops the mic. Yeah, that that went viral. Screaming, congratulations, right? You can hear it in the voice. Isn't it crazy how you can just tell somebody's race by just listening to them? Like you can actually hear the nigga in the voice. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. I always say it was gonna stop all his Uncle Tom and Coon in here. Oh, we we took that nah. word back as a term of uh, endearment. love and endearment and stuff. No, nah, that's bull crap. <laughs> it's just an excuse for black people to use it. They look just as stupid, if not stupider, than white people. You know why people say the N-word really to each other? Because we hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> Deep down, they just, oh, look at that nigga. <laughs> he got my new ride. I think he better than me now. It's Keith's turn to go off oh, on seriously. this one. Why else will we call each other that? Stupid. I said is we have a systemic problem of stupidity in this country. But our leaders are stupid. Our, our pastors are stupid. Not all of them. We've got some good pastors out there. Man, there's, we got pastors in our community, man. Got like four, five million dollar jets. <laughs> <laughs> Walk around with three million dollars in jury. <laughs> and we got jury. Negroes running out here. Take more. That's stupid. 
Hey, look at everybody's face. I want to look at that video. Go look at everybody's face. Yeah. You know what they, you know, you know what they, you know what they want to say, right? Okay. Let go. Let go. Let go. You didn't let me get my moment, so I want to say my name is Connie Giacchiano, and I'm graduating today. What is her name? Snatch the mic out of my Diallo. She got her bachelor's in gender studies. You see the security guard? He had a gun on his hip and everything. He just looked like, man, don't do this. What's wrong with you? He had some twists, didn't he? Mm -hmm. This is yeah. crazy. Look yeah. at him. He looks professional. <laughs> Man. If I if I hire a security guard, I want him having high and tight. I want him clean shaven. I want him locked and cocked. <laughs> I don't need Lil Wayne being my security guard. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Wayne. Yeah, man. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. <laughs> He just there for the paycheck. <laughs> he looked professional to me. He had his shirt tucked in. He was had his gut laying over his belt. He looked good. And pull him up again. He was in, he was oh, in man, shape. he being nice, man. <laughs> oh, he looked professional to me. Oh, man, this dude like you finna go Look, shoot Look, he calling somebody on the walkie-talkie. Hey, we got a nigga over here. <laughs> <laughs> get the white boys. Get reinforcements in here. <laughs> <laughs> he was calling in reinforcements. He was on it. Hey, but anyway, she responded on her TikTok. She explained why she did what she did. There's no explanation. You cannot rationalize. No, that was behavior. trash. Yes. Yeah, you're trying to justify negative behavior. Yeah, check it out. Oh. No, stop it right there. I, I gotta say something. I gotta say something. You see that? See that gold? Look at the bottom. It's what Africa. continent is that? That's Africa. Mm -hmm. Any person, anytime you see a black man or a black woman walk around with African. Um, Propaganda paraphernalia. <laughs> Propaganda. Yeah, paraphernalia. I call it African paraphernalia. Okay. Yeah, you see somebody with African paraphernalia, they, African? Got, they got they got a chip on. She's got an accent. She's got an African they got, sounding they, name. They got, a, they got an axe to grind. I don't know why. Okay, from my point of view, this is my. <laughs> you grew up in America. I'm pretty Wait, sure you did. No, I don't think she did. She's got an African name. Did you hear her name? She like she got every alphabet now. Yeah, but, but you in America now. You American citizen. Yeah, but it's that's the thing. If like, Africa is so great, why don't she go back there? Yeah, and it's like, the won't she go back to Africa if it's so damn great? Oh, Kevin's turn. This is the greatest country in the world. I mean, you got your college degree. Yeah. So I want to say this. Let me say something. <laughs> Let me say something. I have no allegiance to Africa. Why? Because they sold my ancestors. Not white Africans. Black Africans. Why should I have allegiance to a country that sold my ancestors? Yeah. I would, I did. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm just going to save my breath. Yeah, I, I, that's one thing I never understand about black America, man. They love Africa, but they live in here. Stupid. Systemically, we have a systemic problem of stupid in this country. Self-hatred. Self -hatred. Well, they're being trained that way. They're being conditioned yeah. to think that way. Yeah. Yeah, they've been. You know that, right? mm -hmm. They've been. It's, they, they that is yeah, they, they, they've been instilled with this mindset from the little kids. It's in our music. It's in our TV shows. Mm -hmm. Democrats. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if you black, you ain't got a chance in this country. <laughs> it didn't used to you be that way. You mm -hmm. You're gonna be on graduation day. You're gonna be ripping microphones from right people. Try to get your moment. <laughs> Give me my moment, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we went to our niece's graduation. There's a lot of people. Nobody spoke. You just went up and got your uh, yeah. diploma. You don't have time. Hey, my name is, uh, what's the name? Something crazy. <laughs> you know. So that's it. Nice if everybody what? came up there, said that name, that major, where they're from, uh, what it was like growing It just takes too long. It's got so many people involved, man. That turned into three, four hours. I just want to, hey, blah, 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 yeah, my name. Let's look at the video. Let's look at a point of view. We never looked at it. Oh, okay. Let's listen to Shut it. Shut up. Man. Let's listen oh. to it. It's my story. You look good, Basically, what happened was um, I was walking on, and we had to announce our names to say our name before we get on the stage. So I was saying my name, and she literally, I was, my name is long. My name, obviously, I have like three syllables in my name. I'm not going to say exactly my name right now, but okay, wow. just so you get a point. So I didn't even finish getting to say my name. And then the people that went before me and everything, they all got to say their name, their major, and even extras. 
And me and the other girl noticed that she was putting the mic, she was putting the mic down super fast for some black people. I don't want to be that person, but. Well, I want to be that person. That was the tea. So, I mean, I just couldn't let her, I just couldn't let that happen. Cause I just feel like I worked so hard to graduate and went through so much shit to graduate that I just felt like I had to reclaim my moment. I'm sorry. like. I'm not a problematic person. I don't want to ruin no one's day. Really? I don't want to violate anybody, but that's what she did. She didn't even let me finish speaking. She put the mic down, cut me off, and that was the only time I was able to speak. So I, know this. I just feel like that wasn't right. By wrestling that an is. eight-year-old woman was the only way you could talk? Nah. <laughs> I don't believe you. Sorry. I know you're black and all, but I still don't believe you. I mean, what kind of graduation is that where everybody gets to say their name? Don't they call your name and... I mean, yeah, they call your name. Take your diploma and get out of here. I could say they do yeah. it if there's only 10 or 15 right. people graduating, but I'm sure there's a lot of people graduating. You ain't got time for that. Yeah. And where's the video of you? I'd like 26 uh, people those, graduate uh, from my high school happened. class and yeah. we didn't get to do that. There's only yeah. evidence of you ripping mics. There's no video evidence nowhere of, of, doing, the of them doing what mouth. you claim they did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where's the evidence? Where's that? Where's it at? Oh, you didn't have your phone out. You didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn good show though. Damn good show. Hey, giving away a new truck. Tell them about it, Keith. Four. Took too long. Oh, it wrapped. Go it on. Buy red. Guess what else? I'd love to win it. Oh, yeah, you also receive ten thousand dollars in cash. Then to win the contest, go to official twenty dot com. Pay about half of the taxes you owe. Win. Yeah. You speed this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> God, um, I love them. Boy, today Keith was on fire. Usually it's Kevin that yeah. kind of goes off and gets on a tirade. Today was Keith's day. I don't know. They were both kind of on one. Well, uh, yeah, it don't take much to get Keith involved. No, it really doesn't. But when Kevin starts going off, that's when it really starts to get fun. But Keith said he started it. He came out the box upset about this one. I don't know. I, I get tired of hearing how there's always a reason behind why you do something stupid and and superficial in public. I mean... I don't know. I keep it myself. Well, I mean, it's like they said. I mean, if you had a video of the woman doing what you're accusing her of doing, it would go a lot further. Right. Than, oh, I just ripped this microphone out of an 80-year-old woman's hands and talking about, it's my moment. Well, there's you're not the only one there. There's a lot of students yeah. graduating. It's not just your moment. So... You can justify it all you want. You're a bitch. <laughs> well, I mean, I you're mean, you ain't wrong. You gotta call you it like wrong. you see it, and she may be a nice person. This may have just been a random one-time occurrence, but that instance that they put on TikTok yeah. that made her famous was her acting like a bitch. Yeah. And that's all that was, pure and simple. Yeah, you're right. What did you think? Get down in the comments. Let us know what you thought about this video. Keith and Kevin, today was the return of Keith, so we got to hear more of him. What are your opinions on her actions? Do you feel like I do? Was Am I too hard on her? Bitch, you crazy as hell! <laughs> Is a, being a, a bitch too harsh? I mean, she literally assaulted an old lady to steal a microphone from her so that she could talk about how it was her day. All the other students. And then, not Mike drop, Mike throw into the ground. Yeah, Mike toss. Yeah, that was just a temper tantrum. Yeah. That's all I see it as. Like, share. Subscribe. Do the thing. Do the thing. And until the next time, guys, as always. Come at me, bro.